What's you. your read on what's happening in Canada and another convoy that's being organized in the United States? What does this say to you about what's going on and what does it reflect for you? You know, I think it's no longer a right-left issue. There may have been more of us on the right not liking the government mandates, but I think now you're finding parents of children, whether they're left of center, in the center, independents, who really don't like the idea of just forcing children to wear masks when the science don't doesn't really indicate that the masks are working. Even the CDC admits that cloth masks aren't working. You see kids outside huddled in the cold eating their sandwiches. You see kids playing outside in masks. So I think it is bringing right and left together. And I don't think it's going to, I think in the end, the Democrats have really overplayed their hands on the mandates because they're going to lose their populace. They're going to use their public. Uh, so I think this is a turning point. I think it's really getting to the point where the science is clear, that the bulk and the vast majority of the masks that people are wearing have no uh, difference, make no difference in the trajectory of the virus. So yeah, I think I think ultimately Democrats are going to lose the public, and if, if they haven't already lose the public, lost the public, I think they're getting there. Could be. Uh, this photo of Stacey Abrams got a lot of attention over the weekend. Not only was she not wearing a mask, but she was also in front of a group of children. And you look at these little kids, I think we've all become maybe too used to seeing children with half of their faces covered. And she put out a statement saying it's shameful that our opponents are using Black History Month reading event for Georgia children as an impetus for a false political attack. This pathetic, transparent, and silly attack is beneath anyone who claims he wants to lead Georgia. Much ado about nothing, or is this significant? I think if she were honest, she would admit that it's theater. I think almost all the politicians I see around uh, the Capitol are quickly putting them on for cameras, and it really is theater. They know it. I see them in private sitting down. They don't have their masks on. I interviewed uh, one of the nominees to head an agency for government. We sat and talked for 45 minutes in my office, and then they said they wanted a picture, and I said, well, sure. He says, you mind if I put my mask on? And I said, <laughs> Hey, whatever sure. floats your boat, you know. But I mean, it is. It is all theater oh, at this gosh. point. And if it were just adults being stupid, that would be fine. You have a right to be stupid in a free country, but you don't have a right to force this on children. And it is really, really sad. And somebody's got to stand up, whether it's uh, putting your semi in the middle of a town and honking the horn or whatever, or whether it's parents going to a school board meeting. It, these people will ne never let go of our freedoms or our children if we do not push back. It's interesting. There was a study that was done um, or released, I saw a graph that showed California versus Texas in terms of the cases. And California, of course, has much more onerous masking rules. Texas, uh, much more open in terms of uh, choice to, to mask or not. And it, essentially, California's cases were slightly higher. The trend line is very similar. Um, but but it, there, there's no way to read this chart other than to think that, um, that California is not at an advantage for, for masking up. Well, this is true over and over again. If you look at most state mandates, when they were instituted, and you look at the incidence of the disease, the incidence of the disease continues to rise after the mandates. In Florida, about half of the counties obeyed the order to quit the mandates when DeSantis said, quit doing the mandates. The other half kept the mandates. And these were large numbers of children. The incidence between the two groups is essentially the same. The masks do not work. We are just punishing our children. And as someone who doesn't hear very well, I know what it's like to not be able to understand people because you can't see their lips yeah. and so I think this is terrible plus kids even kids who have normal hearing are learning by looking at the lips and the facial expressions they this is how they learn to 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 to, blit, to be part of a group and be part of a community so mm -hmm. I think it's really sad for these kids it and is. somebody's got to stand up Heart, for them. heartbreaking and they're so you know compliant and obedient and they're doing what they're told and they think that this is you know a way of life and I just wonder how long it's going to take to you know to free them up to live in a world where they don't have to cover uh, half their faces, especially with cloth masks, which, as you say, the CDC say really doesn't do anything. Um, thank you very much, Senator thank Paul. You. Always good to talk to you.